Well, ladies and gentlemen, I have oh, this wow. lovely, lovely really? couple here, and they want to talk to us or me about why I want to start Kinstock. <laughs> And they ask me, hey, you have something going on. I want to talk to you about it. So here I am. Uh, my name is Rich Love, by the way. Um, Richie Love? Richie Love, yeah. So I'm spreading the love. Mm -hmm. um, so I want to thank them for giving me the platform to actually talk about this. Mm -hmm. um, the main issue I find is that if we say we are kids, or if we say that this is our universe, right? Yeah. We're talking about the men in general. Is that we men, we've been taught to not have our emotions or not to feel our emotions, or mostly to suppress our emotions. And then what happens is that when you actually tap into our emotions, it becomes a wounded man. So now you as a man, you want to dictate things, but you don't have nothing to dictate. Like typically, most men are living with a woman that provides every single thing. They don't do anything, but they expect the woman to do every single thing. But how could you, you as a man say that? I'm asking the men. So Paris, I want to ask you a question. If you ask a girl out, right, are you asking her to get to know her or are you asking her to get into her pants? The first, the first answer. To get to know her? Yes, yeah, uh, obviously. Yeah, okay, course. right? So That's usually what, that's like, usually that's the main thing you ask. Mm -hmm. The main reason you ask anybody anyways. Right, so well, now, some people. So now what the agenda is, mm -hmm. now if I'm getting to know a girl, right, I'm trying to talk to her, why do I have to let her know that, hey, man, I want to talk to you strictly you, or do I let her know that, hey, I like you, I want to know what it is, but at the same time, you're free to do whatever you want. Is it bad to say that? If you're being honest? Mm hmm Well, if that's your intention, then you got to be honest. Right, because I found that the intention, some of us, some of the men, they're not staying our intentions. We yeah. say, yeah, we like you, we go with the flow, right? But what we're really trying to say, we want to have our cake and we want to eat it too, because I've done it, and I'm, I want to say I'm still doing it, but... I'm learning the process of how not to do that, right? To be greedy because, yes, yes you have some women that really care for you, right? Mm -hmm. But they're not giving you that state of, that peace of mind. So you'll be happy with what they're providing you. But at the end of the day, you're still going to be like, that's not the right girl for you. What you're doing is you're messing her up for the next guy, mm -hmm. right? Men, we're supposed to be healers, right? Because the woman deals with a whole lot of things that they themselves are trying to figure out. Like, just to be in a woman for a day, yeah. you're being projected on your beauty, you're being projected on your size. Every single thing on the physical. So, with them, and especially when a guy is telling you, like, hey, miss, you're ugly, you're that, it hurts them deep because they are naturally fearless, right? We men, we are mental, right? So, we are understanding of it is we take everything as a joke because that's how we were designed, right? But we have to also understand how the women were designed. You have both energies, but... Half of the time, as a man, we just focus on the masculine energy, thinking that that is where it's supposed to be, but it's not. Right? Mm -hmm. There's structure and there's play in both of it. So I always, when I go back to the whole dating, if I'm taking a girl out, I want to get to know why I'm taking her out. I'll mm -hmm. put that on me to do that, right? And then on the second day, so I'll be like, hey, I like you. This is what I have. This is what I'm working with. But I won't just get to know you. I want to yeah. know why I like you. I want to know why you're quick. I want to know why that eyelashes so long I want to understand what those things are <laughs> right because that's what that's what yeah, makes you asking that question too, right? right right because like that's what makes you <laughs> you and that's what not but you're like trying to take off what's going on well yeah because like are you trying to fly you're trying yeah. to because yeah, that's know. what makes them happy and so again everybody has their own way of happiness and you cannot change that you cannot say oh that's just no that's their happiness and they cannot change it so, happiness though yeah it's your form of happiness or right it's, insecurity Wow, we could look at that. So let's ask the lady. So Miss Nikki, mm -hmm. if a guy asks, takes you out, right? Mm -hmm. Do you need to dress up nice? Do you need to first date? We look at the first date, mm -hmm. right? Do you need to dress up? Is there any anticipation of how the date is going to go, or you're going to go with the flow? Do you want him to come up with the full structure of the plan for the date and every single thing? It would be nice, but if it's not, if that's not the case, then I'm fine with that. Mm -hmm. Because I feel like if a guy 
just plans out a whole day for you for that one date, that might just be him trying to impress you. I want to see what you're like just naturally. So if you're not the type of person to really plan out stuff like that, then don't do it. Mm-hmm. Don't show me a side of you that's not really you. Like, I, that's you being fake at that point, That's right? why they call it the consistency. Don't show me the vibe where, right. where you're not, you, you are not going to keep up with the consistency. And I learned that the hard way. So mm-hmm. What if you're just trying, though? But that's why she's saying she wants the real thing. No, she wants you what, to put up a show. Because if that's so, not it you... It could also not be a show. Mm. What if maybe, you know, you really just want to do something nice? Yeah, you're trying to be thoughtful. Or maybe you wasn't that before. The last person say, well... You didn't do this, you didn't do that, so now you're trying to change. Right. Are you but changing for them or for yourself? Could be both. Okay. That's a good one. So, okay, I met this lady, right? She was into chess. That was the beginning. I never cared about chess, but she loved chess. Mm-hmm. That's why I'm a chess player now, mm-hmm. right? And I, she's like, oh, let's play. And I didn't know. So I'm like, yo, miss, I'll tell you, I, didn't, I don't know how to play chess, mm-hmm. right? But she's like, yo, I could teach you. So that's how our relationship. So we started at St. Chipa. I knew all these games, but I'm like, I don't like different games. I didn't know that one. Mm-hmm. But it's sort of me trying to lie and be like, because again, one of my friends told me, play with the computer. So when you're online, whatever she moves she could do, you'd be able to see exactly then. But mm-hmm. which would have worked, but then when me and her met, she would have noticed because in chess, there's no lucky win. Mm-hmm. Right? So it's just like that. So as she was saying, like with the insecurities, I feel like some of us men, we boast it a little bit because we don't have it. So we're just trying to Oh, she gives us a little attention to so be want to try and hold on. That's how our feminine energy we want to try and do something to hurt you to make you feel like they're feeling. Mm-hmm. Right? That's how we understand it. And it's very toxic because we shouldn't have to be like that. Mm-hmm. Right? So when I'm saying I want to talk to the men, I want them to understand how what they're doing to the women, right? And how it's also affecting them. Because again, if the women are trying to get your attention, they want your attention. They know you're doing all this other stuff, but they're doing it. How a guy wants to be respected, whether it's or not. Guys don't want to be loved, they want to be respected. Then it's right. And the woman is a challenge. The woman is a challenge. Right? So it's like a value, right? You're devaluing that. So it's a very interesting concept here. So most of our generational men went past that. So it's one of the problems that we have to accept in father when it's really much. Where we had our father to a certain age, and then in our juvenile age, we were left among the guys. Mothers couldn't really help us. And our fathers just been dealing with other issues. Right? So we have to raise ourselves. And then us raising our we pick some bad habits. Right? We pick up bad habits where it's like, oh, you're supposed to treat the woman bad so that she's supposed to like you. Which is foolish. You're supposed to treat the woman as she So then she wants to be treated so she will always reciprocate. That's one thing we men forget. We will always, but they need to, again, they need to see that. If I'm giving you the world, are you really like, are you willing to at least give me a thing? Mm-hmm. But we don't even understand that. We think, oh, you want all of that. So can you help explain how men, how do we approach that understanding to men? Well, I think that men, at a certain point, they kind of start raising each other. You guys start challenging with each other, and then you guys start, you know, thinking that you, know, you guys are supposed to do this, or you're supposed to do that, or you're supposed to treat a woman this way, so your friend's going to come and tell you, oh, yeah, this is what you're supposed to do. You're going to go tell your next friend, oh, yeah, this is what you're supposed to do. But really, you guys have no idea what you guys are supposed to be doing at all. And, like, that goes back to what you said is that your father figure may not be there to teach you those things, or maybe they are there, but they're not thinking to to actually teach you about, you know, how to properly treat a woman. There's sometimes father figures just expect you to, to yeah. know mm-hmm. what you need to do because you're a boy. Mm-hmm. But really and truly, a lot of them are so, they're so lost. They have no clue, like, where to start or how to start. So a lot of the times they go to the internet, they listen to their friends, they listen to the music that they're listening to, the rappers that are singing these lyrics. They don't, they believe in all that, but they don't just understand that those are just lyrics. But they're basing their life based off of what they're hearing, what they're seeing. Mm. So they're not having an actual person there showing them, okay, this is what you're supposed to do. This is how you should be treating a woman. You know, this is how you should be asking a woman out. When you go out with a woman, pull their chair out. You don't see guys do that anymore. Shibiri, women just shibiri. go when they sit down in the chair. You don't shibiri. see guys open doors right. like that mm-hmm. or anything like shibiri's that anymore. Dead. Nothing shibiri, like that. Oh, Shiver is coming back. That's going to be <laughs> doing this, right? <laughs> because, again, it's not, it's not an act for you to, because you're doing that because you care. Mm-hmm. To me, the way I see it is that, yo, if that's your role, that that's your girl, she gives you everything within, girl. 
literally every single thing any man have asked women have been able to provide it time to time mm-hmm. and in, and literally they're the ones that are supposed to have more tiredness they created like women created us so they didn't want to do anything mm-hmm. right but us men we are still on a high horse where we want them to still do everything right so it's like how you said we have the problem of our wounded masculinity where we're trying to be a man but we don't we're looking at all the wrong sources mm-hmm. and we are not brave enough or we have to humble ourselves to go ask and okay mom hey queen i want to learn the right way not to even say that i want to raise you or i want you i want you to learn from myself so that i could teach my fellow men mm-hmm. right because like, even today i was in grocery with my friend and again i'm like hey can i hold the groceries for you she goes no i'm like my job is to help your life easier. Mm-hmm. That was what I was created for. Mm-hmm. Once men understand that the women never needed us, they never did. Well, it was because, go ahead, go ahead. right? It was because of how nature intended it. So nature is like, you know what? You need a counterpart. So we're going to make it that way. You mm-hmm. see this in us, but the fertilizer goes through you, mm-hmm. right? So we can't do literally nothing without the woman. Mm-hmm. That's why James Brown, my one of my favorite songs, James Brown said, it's a man's world, but it ain't nothing without a woman, child or a girl. Yep. Why would that man say it's a man's world, but it ain't nothing without a woman, a child or again, a girl? Mm-hmm. Right. So the root of the problem, when you go to the root of the problem is that men, we are, it's our world that we don't understand. And the world goes wrong with the feminine energy, with the woman. Because if it was all men, we'd be fighting and we'd be structured. All work, no play makes the man a dull boy. Right, the feminine energy is supposed to be is the cherishing one. It's the one that wants to have fun. It's the free flowing. It's the wind. It goes here. It goes there. Right, but when you restrict it, that's when it gets uncomfortable. That's when it annoys you. Right, so most of the time is that uh, women are not trying to annoy us, but it's because we are not giving them the freedom to roam. Mm-hmm. Right, it's like when they see a hot girl summer. Right, and the childish guys should be like, <laughs> well, no, when they see a hot girl summer, what they're pretty much trying to say is that yo. It's summer, I want to go out with my girlfriends, I want to still be me. Mm-hmm. But I know at the end of the day that you are my king. You know, right. my, um, I was with my best friends last weekend, and they both have kids. And my best friend said something interesting. She said that as women, we're the ones who are constantly looking after the children, constantly. Everything that's surrounded by you know the child, it's just you. Mm-hmm. But the men, they have the freedom to go out to do their thing but the woman's always the one that has to stay home look after the child the woman has to always worry about everything for the child but the men don't really have to worry about that they can just say hey you know what i'm going to my boy's house today and that's it but us we just said okay well i'm here with the kids i gotta do all these things a wrong shit because Mm -hmm. it's like yo you you gave birth to it but it's like that's still my kid and Mm -hmm. if i see i'm the father i need to be able to do something that is of fatherhood Mm -hmm. figure right so that's the same thing as like when you're talking about like men shouldn't be getting that freedom for us to think that we have that freedom that's wrong mm-hmm. right because yo she would want to be able to do men we don't we are not bickering as much as when i say the energies mm-hmm. women are the ones that want they have great creation it's all that those women have all of those ideas we if we're up to us again we'd be turning our fingers just eating fruit and thin and bush people mm-hmm. right but the woman well, if you ever see a man that's got moved up a woman will come into their life and that will be looking like money because of that woman. But he's going to be on his horse thinking that was because of what he did by saying, bro, the woman wants, she stole the greatness in you. Mm-hmm. And you don't see the greatness in her. Right? So there's a saying that most men fall for the wrong body. They're looking for the woman the wrong body. Right? Because they're like that. Not like, hey, bro, her attitude stink. She don't understand about trying to learn. And also, I mean, I'm not saying that you men, you have to put up with it because, you know, if you find a girl you like and you're willing to teach her and, you know, if she doesn't want to learn, you're not doing it, right? Because you want to be able to, it's a, it's a dynamic. If you're leading, right, you want the person to follow. Mm-hmm. And if that person is not willing to follow, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. But that means that you're going to be crashing heads. And the two hours, one has to, one has to respect the other. Yeah. Right, and when it comes to it, it's like everybody wants to be alpha, but you know that an alpha something has to shut up and just let the other alpha do it. Mm-hmm. Because if I know this, you also know this. So why don't we both become better? Right, so that's the I think I'm also understanding more. Is like yo, we are 
man be a destruction. That's our ability. Right? But if we step back and put that love we were in front of, because mm-hmm. we were young, we were young, young to co- conquer every single thing. Right? So we took that same ideology and same with the woman. We want to conquer the woman instead of us nourishing her and raising her. Mm-hmm. Right? Because if they say we call ourselves gods, we came from goddesses. Why the hell are we treating them like peasants? Society. So our ideology is fucked up. We could blame society. Well, if you think about it, since the beginning of time, everything is just man, right? Men go out, hunt. Women steal and take care of the kids, take care of the house, or whatever. So, I every know. every part of evolution of society, when you look at it, doesn't matter what the decade or whatever, or the century, it's always been man, man, man. Like, if you think about it, it wasn't until, what, 1920 or something like that? Women yeah. were allowed to vote. Now, why, why, now that, that's cards. a hot topic, right? Yeah. They, but do you know why they, they weren't allowed to do all of those? Because they were seen less than... Were not even equal. Not, as soon as you said, not even equal. Crazy. They were not equal. They, they were, were just supposed to... They had a place mm. that was in the house, in the kitchen, making a sandwich or something like that. So, literally, there's still guys... I actually know some people who are still like that. Of course, they're older guys. Mm-hmm. They still believe like women have a place. So... Even in some cultures, if you look at it, you'll see the guy walking and the lady's like behind her. So that doesn't look safe. That's not right. Right, and that's the again, that's the universal law because like how you said we were raised, but I said mm-hmm. generation back, I'll say two, let's say not our fathers, right, but our grandparents' generation. Yeah, I like to call them the golden age because they had the struggles, but they didn't have the technology like we did. Mm-hmm. Right, because they would go to work. They say 12 hours and they'll be coming home to their wife. So they don't be, the whole day, they only be texting them, looking on Instagram, looking at all these other thousand and one girls before they would see their wives. Mm-hmm. Right? So all that distraction was in there. Yeah. But now we have everything so accessible to us that we, our ideology is consumed by the next best thing. Not realizing that we are the best if you water ourselves. Mm-hmm. Right? We're always looking at what is that best. Okay, why can't you, again, I always say this, I don't collect troops, I raise them. Why why don't you see something that is there and why don't you grow it like a tree? Because if we are creation, we are supposed to make everything creation. So that's what I'm talking about. The can't start is for men to understand, look yourself in the mirror and to be like, yo, if I'm supposed to be a man and this is our universe and this is nobody's gonna come and save us. No, yeah, so we off. have to be the ones to check ourselves. When I say check ourselves, like yo, you do it, you do something that you know is not morally correct. Yeah. I'm not gonna to conform to society. I'm going to tell you, bro, you're looking like an idiot. Because if I don't do it, you're yeah. going to do it to the next woman. And you know what's going to happen? That whole cycle is going to continue. So mm-hmm. we have to be the ones to break that cycle. I said, you miss, I'm wrong. I was on my horse. How can I do better? Mm-hmm. Right? And once you understand where she's coming from, sometimes they'll be on their bullshit. And I will not lie to you. Right? But you also have to understand where their feeling is and how they're displacing it. Yeah. Right. So if somebody is hurt because of the moral code they did, you cannot conform because of that. You have to understand why don't you like it. With somebody be like, yo, I only like hot water in the same way. Main reason why? Because they were burned four or five years ago. Mm. Right. That's a trauma. You have to be. You have to be able to respect that. Right? It also needs to be communication. Because a lot of times you don't know. Right. Exactly. So you have to ask the questions where we're not making an assumption. Yeah. That we want to know, like when I always ask questions, it's not because I'm assuming I want to know why we're doing what we're exactly. doing, exactly, right? Because if you're Same thing to sometimes I actually ask her, mm-hmm. so like you're supposed to know, like sometimes I just I don't have no clue, and that's one of the things, like, like I yo, know, like I like, love I love your woman, but the psychic ability, we don't have that, shit. Yeah. we don't. I don't, know where, I don't know what movie y'all seen, no, we, we really don't, know because it's like. I've met, I've met so many and like, yeah, you didn't read the sign. I'm like, I'm like, yo, you don't understand I'm all mental. Mm-hmm. Right? So we are all this. So you have to literally say something, baby, or I'm giving up on you. Mm-hmm. Right? But we are not. But it's like, yo, miss, I like you. I like you too, but you expect me to be doing all of that, right? Mm-hmm. But then, when I say make time, you're expecting me to do all of that. And it's not because of how we were, but it's because of how society had projected the ideology. Mm-hmm. Right. So another thing I want to talk about you men is that when we go on dates, we have to put in our creativity. We need to start with this. Let's go to a restaurant. Let's go. To, bro, you're supposed to be creativity. You're supposed to show her. Necessity is the mother of invention. If you're broke, bro, do something about it. Take her out. Go to a sandbar. Learn something about rocks. Learn something about nature. 
right? Mm. That's when you guys will get back and be you'll find a niche because the thing is that most people come into a relationship with this is what I am, not with this is what I am, this is how I'm going to try and transcend that, oh, you right? Can. Because change is the only constant. So if you tell me that you learn, you didn't learn nothing today, let's learn something tomorrow, right? And then that thing you learn, if it doesn't apply to you next week, let's go back to your drawing board because we are not perfect. Right, we are imperfectly perfect. That's how we're designed to be. So with the man, it's like we need to get up the high horse, and we need to get the horse. It's like this world is designed for us, right? But well, we cannot do nothing without them. Mm-hmm. Literally, before I was before we were even going to do this podcast, if it were up to me and him, I would have been in a t-shirt. Literally, <laughs> right? But it was like, yo, why are you not putting up thin? I'm like, I'm comfortable. But they're like, no, because you have to present yourself. You guys, the men, we would not think about that. We would absolutely most not guys. think. Most, most guys, guys would not be like, what? We're just doing a podcast. But they're like, it's a presentation. Yeah. Right? Not because we care about what you guys think, but at the same time, we want to make sure we present something for you guys. Can to... we see that right there for me? Mm-hmm. If, if that's how you're comfortable, then that's how you should be allowed mm-hmm. to be. Mm-hmm. You know, to put somebody in a position where they're uncomfortable it's not like I said to go back to what I said it's not natural so if this is how you want if you want to be in your your your, your shorts you want to be in your your tank then that's you right. that's you mm-hmm. in your natural state then right. you do what you got to do and you know I what I'm, saying? I'm not going to be like you know what you need to put on this and you need mm-hmm. to put that on to put on a show for no, no, and, that. and that's what I'm saying and sometimes so I have to do that with him because sometimes I have to be like okay, we've got to change that shirt <laughs> you've got to go iron well, or something got, okay. <laughs> no, but a, ironing is a different story <laughs> Iron, I can't stand iron. Okay. I'm, I'm not going to lie When I was yeah. younger, I had to iron my mom's and my iron, dad's clothing, uh, so I'm not even bothering. That's another waste of time thing. Right? Unless I'm going somewhere like dressed like formal, forget the iron, man. Give me the ramp up t shirt. That's okay. Again, you see, that's the same thing with the, you see the feminine energy and the masculine energy. The masculine energy is cool, get to the point. The feminine energy deals with the, the meat of the bones. Yeah. Well, right? that's how we go through things. Because men, they, not that you find the shortcut, but you just. You find different ways to do something. Realize so if I'm it. cooking something, mm. he might find a faster way to cook you the meal I cook. Uh-huh. It may not taste the same, yeah, but <laughs> he's gonna <laughs> find a faster way right? to do because it. Because we are just we are, we, are, we are all end game. We are logic. So it's like if you tell us from go point A to that, B, that's but it. he didn't give us any logic. Thing is A to B. I'm going. Mm-hmm. You guys see back. How do you guys want us to go? Do you want us to take us the highway? Do you want to take the byway? <laughs> we're like, the question is get to A to B. That's the difference. We are going to be like, all right, cool. We're going to jump. You guys are like, mm, I don't want to jump. I want to look into it. So you guys are still contemplating. That's the practicality. <laughs> right? So by the time we are done, waiting for you to figure out whether you want to actually move, mm-hmm. that's when our frustration comes. But we cannot hit into that because we forget that we are logic and you guys are practical. Mm-hmm. And then that's right? how you get the whole... Because Men are did. impatient. Right. That is because we were given the same task. <laughs> you are. Right. We were given the same task. <laughs> and you're taking 10 years. And so I took four years. But I still have to wait for you. Mm-hmm. Right. And then once I wait for you, you're going to tell me now you're hungry. Yeah. Yeah, we yeah. do now. Speak up so they can hear you. Yes. yes. <laughs> And another one to add on to it. Have you noticed how we always say that we say um, misery loves company? Yeah. It's actually correct. It's supposed to be positivity loves or appreciates peace. Mm. That's how it's supposed yeah. to be. Because remember, the same thing is negativity. Why do I need misery to love company? Why can't I change my mindset to positively create peace? True. Right? The whole, again, is the whole, we were taught things backwards. So now we have to relearn it. Right? It's called, I like to call it the devolution. Not evolution, right? Because we thought we were so sophisticated, but if you look at nature, 
It's because we're horrible. <laughs> they, like, it's, no, <laughs> human beings, we believe that we are one of the best, but it's like, bro, you know, maybe because you're the birds, the amount of stuff the birds say about us is sad. <laughs> it's so true. They're like, yo, what are they now? They're covering their own airwaves to breathe. Mm. Now they're wasting their own planet. Now it's like, it's crazy because our first action is like, yo, what is a homeless person? I'm like, I don't think a person, I'm like, look up, you said home. Earth is their home. How are they homeless? Because you Shelter decided to put it too hard. You decided yeah. to put it hot and how do you call it homeless? Yeah. No. So we shelterless person. Shelterless. That's fine. But again, yeah. my mindset is if home is where the heart is, am I really not home? Yeah. So it's very interesting. Again, that's why I say with the Kinstock, I would love for men, for us to, because we were the ones this happened to. I could talk to you, women, about all our problems. But at the same time, you have your own. Mm-hmm. Right? So yeah. right now, what we need, we need the men to be talking about how we can better ourselves and then at least once a month or two the both energies will come and be like hey this is what we learned about ourselves this is what we learned about this is how we could move further because i would say one thing is that understanding both energies and how it works mm-hmm. makes any relationship better than just oh i'm like this or i'm like that because we both have both energy mm-hmm. right the roles switch depending on how how we are how low we are Somebody who knows something very good, they're, they're not going to be in the alpha mode, mm. right? Yeah. That's the matter. Somebody they don't know, so they're going to revert to the beta mode. So it should be. Right? So it's vice versa, but it's never about power control. It's about role playing, right? Somebody could be point guard today. Next place, the next person will be point guard, mm. right? That's how you make yourself, I say I and I. That's how you, you build yourself. You cultivate yourself higher, right? Because in every situation, I don't know that logic is what's always going to be good. But mm-hmm. sometimes if I put the practicality into it, even then, if I just do the logic better than the practicality. Mm-hmm. Right? So we have to be able to sit within ourselves and look at it. And I don't think men, we were never taught to understand our feelings. We were taught to stay away from our feelings. Mm-hmm. Right? But we never taught to understand. When you understand, you're taking it from your heart chakra all the way up there to understand it. Because you understand it, you, you stand on the tree, that's why you understand Right, so we men need to really, I would love to get some of them to actually talk and understand. Because we all don't know. And if we all trying to make it better, we all have to do collectively. Me as an individual, I am okay, I'm learning. But if I'm learning, why don't we get others Mm -hmm. to also learn? Because one person speaking, another guy, when two or three are garbage, the Holy Ghost is there. So if we are doing this and if we as men try to be like, hey, we've done, we know what we did, we're trying to fix our roles, we wouldn't have to walk around with women being scared and women having to, the projects again, you're putting that projection of your fear into us. Mm-hmm. That's why we feel like, yo, me, I'm not, sh-. but they're projecting the fears of the absent dad, the fear of the abusive husband. Mm-hmm. They're projecting like, all that on the next person. So now for me to even show her that, yo, miss, I'm just here trying to elevate you. I have to go through all that cycle. And it's not fair to me because by the time after she feels that she's ready to give me that heart, mm-hmm. I've fed up. Mm-hmm. Right? And I'm ready to go. And that's where the cycle is like, how much are you willing to hold on? Right? That's the same thing with depression. How much are you willing to hold on to? Ignite that electron to jump up to the next rolling cycle. Mm-hmm. Right? And that's what most of us, we don't understand. How long are we? Which 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 girls are we supposed to be patient with? Which girls are trying to play with us? I think you you will know you. I think you will just get that that feeling of knowing which girl is worth your time. How do like you, know? you? I to be honest, I can't tell you that, but you can feel it. You will feel it. Not me. Feel. I wouldn't know. We weren't thought feelings. Remember? No, 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 no. You can feel you, it, yeah. and you could see by the person's like effort sometimes. Mm-hmm. Mm. So that's one of the things I kind of noticed with a lot of people. Like, like everything is almost like reverse. So you got guys who were famous, like Kevin Samuel. Mm-hmm. A few people send me his videos a couple of times. I try to watch it, and just, I don't get it. Like, why is he like degrading people? How are people attracted to this shit? Same with that that other guy, um, Justin Leboy or whatever. Like, I don't, I don't get it. Mm-hmm. It's like, and I was talking to one of my friends about this a few weeks ago. And I was like, you actually believe like, this guy is real? Like, I don't understand. Like, he sits there and talks, asks people sexual questions, uh, talks down on people, 
and all he talks about is negative stuff. And you go on YouTube or wherever, there's like up there. That's what you see, dude. But do. all the positive stuff that people are doing or talking about, like you don't even hear about it. And so like, I don't thing. understand like why people are so much into. It. I guess I say, well, bad news spread faster than good news or whatever. So I don't know if there's much hope to even like change the way people think anymore. No, there is. Because everything is just about negativity. That's why we have to shift it. Because right now, what I'm understanding from is masculine energy is coming, but it's back on this plane, back on Earth. Right? I don't know, why, man. It's kind of hard. That's why, again, that's what I'm trying I to say. I should get like a little Uzi now. I'm just like, what's what going on? Yeah, I know. That's what I'm trying to say. Masculine energy is coming back. Yeah. So the men that are being shunned by society, I'm telling you guys, stand in your manhood. Right, society is gonna try and push you because you're an alpha. It's the reason why it's a double alpha is now. You get a double cap because in order for you to be a double alpha, you have to understand the place of how your the role of a woman, and that's the place how your role of it because you're always supposed to elevate them. They came first, not you, man. They came first. So if you understand that, it's the reason why they say women's first. Why did they say that? They came first, but if you if we put ourselves first, right? You're supposed to take care of them. They're supposed to take care of the kids. See how this work? But if we are busy with ourselves, screwing everybody else, she's gonna be the one dealing with the headache, and then the whole cycle comes us in. Your dead be dad, your dead be father. We're the one doing it. It's a cycle. So not for us to break that because I've known family members that have been in this. Right, because the dad is too busy trying to be a man, but he's not home. Being the dad, you see the That's issue. That's a little difficult. Though. Okay, talk to me. Because um, like another someone I was talking to, and the other way they look at it too sometimes is just like um, depends on what you can provide. Some people aren't able to. Maybe they have two, three kids, they just can't do it. So why? So then the, a lot of that? guys sometimes they can't deal with the pressure can't provide and it probably makes them feel worse that a kid would look at them and they can't do anything for them but they can't then provide so, for them so they just leave but then isn't that a little bit ch- childish it is but who knows sometimes some people, we cannot accept a lot that. of people deal with pressure differently but we cannot some people take their that. lives some people which is leave. fine but it's like that's what i'm trying to say it's like so yeah. if i'm me i don't have no kids right i pay yeah. taxes with i pay taxes that thing but yeah. somebody that's my age is getting more benefits than me, mm. right? And they're doing F all, yeah. right? And I'm over here, like, thinking I want to be able to have some kids that I'm trying to do it right morally within myself. Yes. But they're cowering. They already did the deed, mm. right? So, to me, I don't, I won't say I, would say I could empathize, but I'm not going to see sympathy, right? Because, you know, you know the price of having a child. Mm-hmm. Some people over that. And if you don't, then you shouldn't be, be having sex. You shouldn't be doing that. Well, that's the other thing. Right, that's why I'm saying the man, the ego thing is like yeah. because no, that doesn't work like that. Because like to me, if you lay with the girl, bro, the moment you lay with that girl, you're on that same level. I don't care what you said. You laid with her. What you're different now? Nah, you're on the same level, sir. Yeah. And if you're not, if you're laying with her, and you're not healing her. All that trauma, her demons is coming directly to you. Right. It goes both ways, though. Mm-hmm. Cause a lot of women, especially now, don't have much respect for. But you wonder why? That's what I'm trying to say. That bitch has energy. Yeah. Right? Men are supposed to, yo, men is supposed to, yo, men, I'm going to do this for you. Get it done. Yeah. Why does she have to come and ask? You said you were going to go do it. Bro, that's what I'm trying to say. Get to it later, man. Right? Now, I get it, but it's like, yo, so why don't tell her that? Surprise yeah. her. True. Right? Surprise her or tell her to do it. The thing that annoys them is the fact that, yo, they know you're busy. They, they know. Yeah. But then when you open your mouth and project mm-hmm. that hope, they're clinging to it. And then now, you're going to tell her, I said, nah, she was minding her business. She was waiting for you to your time. And then you open your mouth and say, I'm in the brrr. But three weeks later, you didn't do it. And now she's sad because you gave her that ideology. You gave Wait, her hope. what is this thing you're talking about that she's supposed to do? So I'm a talking big project about... project or something small? It, it, it could be, yeah, it could be like, yo, cut the grass. Oh, okay. Nah, you have right? to cut the grass every week, man. No, but it's not every week, but she's like, okay, so she's having family over. Yeah. Right? So she told you two weeks ago, yo, cut the grass. You're like, yeah, I'll be busy, but now it's Friday night. 
the kind of action to cut the grass. If I'm not coming over now, you're going to think that she's nagging. But, yo, she told you two weeks ago. It's not a problem. Time, but, no, I don't understand. You make time. Nobody has time. That is true. That's an excuse that people need to stop. Because, yo, you have everybody have 24 hours. It's how you do it. True. You have 24 hours. You want to sleep for eight hours. You want to work for eight hours. You have eight hours to do all that. But you cannot give the excuse. That's what I'm saying is that divine masculine says it, they do it. If they can, hey, honey, remember I told you I was going to be able to do it? Right now, I'm not able to do it. Is there a way that you could help me make it? Then that way she understands that, oh, you actually trying your effort, but you couldn't fully reach it. Mm. And now, hey, honey, can you help me? Yo, you should be glad to do that. Not always. Okay. Because there yeah, are instances yeah. where you would do something like that and she's like, see, can't depend on him for nothing. There's those. There are those. There are those where I see, this is a guy, he's supposed to be doing this, or, you know, like, this is supposed to be his choice. Give me an example. Thing. Give me an example. I just um, want to... That's one well, I've never had that experience. So I'm not sure. You know, just give us an example. We all, we all don't have the experience. No. I want to get the example, right? Like, you always hear, you know, stuff like, um, well, there's always this, I want a real man. Like, first of all. So what do you, what is a real man? Exactly. I don't understand what is a real man. Because if I'm here, I'm physical. You can touch me, you can see me. I think I'm real. But it's like, you want a guy to do this, this. There's like a long list, a huge list bunch of criteria you gotta check before you can even go out or get that interest back. So you play a lot of games, mm-hmm. you don't get anywhere. And some guys sometimes they just don't care. So it's just like, why am I gonna show you who I really am? Why am I gonna put the effort? And yeah, really this true. is the kind of games you're playing. Like you want me to do all of this just to be with you? So what about me? Like am I nothing? Nikki, I think I would love for you to enter on this one. <laughs> because, no, I, I, I'm, yeah. I'm with him on that board where it's like, yo, some girls you like, they'll be interested, right? Yeah. And I'm like, yo, I'm, yeah. this is my lifestyle. I'm busy, right? Yeah. But then, they're expecting me to make, do everything with him. And it's not like yeah. I'm willing to do, I'm not going to do it, but it's like, yo, I told you, this is my lifestyle. Yeah. Right? And then you're sitting on your high horse. I wouldn't say high horse, but you're thrown. Expecting the night and Sharon Armour to come and save you, but you forget that you were the Amazon woman that you could see. You never need to see it. Mm-hmm. Right? So, I want to know how, and again, that's why I asked, how do you know that the woman is playing games? This for the audience. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't know. I don't think <laughs> Woman, like, come on. You're a woman. Woman. You're, you're I mean, a beautiful what lady. What kind of games do you used to play? Yeah, I, let's do that. Yeah. I didn't used to play games, but I used to, I kind of used to test a little bit. Like I used oh. to just ask certain questions to see where their mindset is at. Hmm. Because to me, if you're willing to at least just give me a little bit or show me that you're trying to make something of yourself, you, you're trying to put the effort in at some point, then I'm cool with that. I'm not I was ever the type of person to say, Okay, well, you need to have a good paying job, you need to have a car, you need to have a house, you need to do this, you need to pay all my bills. Like, I was never that person. So, that's never something I ever looked into. But I find women nowadays, that's what their criteria is. They want a man that has a good paying job. They want a man that has their own house. They want a man that drives a nice car. They want a man that has no kids. They want a man that dresses well. They want a man that this, this, this. The list goes on, to be honest with you. And to me, I'm just like, okay, if that is what you want as a woman, and that's what you see a man as, that's fine. But you as a woman need to make sure that you're meeting that same criteria before you go in there and you start asking for a man to be all these things. And a lot, to be honest with you, a lot of women do not meet those criteria. They don't have their own house. They don't have a good job. They don't have their own house. It's it's not right. And it's not going. So to me, it's just, I definitely see the unfairness in that. And I don't think women sometimes even know what they want half the time in a man. I think that sometimes they just see a man on, let's say, Instagram. They see this nice guy who's dressed well and all these things, and they'll be like, hashtag mangles or some crap like that. And I'm just like, well, you don't know the story behind that guy. You don't know if he rented that suit. You don't know if he rented those shoes. You don't know what he's doing. For all you know, he could be living... In a shack somewhere. You don't know anything about him. But you're over here telling somebody this is what I want in a man. So, so to me, I just I just feel as 
as women, we need to, we need to, not saying to not lower put your, your right, not lower your standards, but you need to be real with you. Yeah, you need to be a little bit more realistic yeah. here because you're expecting so much from a man, and that's why a lot of men they just don't bother. They don't want to bother trying to find a woman because they're like, okay, well, all these women want all these standards and all these things, and I don't have all that. So that's why I think everyone is just still single at this point because nobody wants to meet each other halfway at all. Yeah. And the minute that there's something that a man is lacking that's not on their list, they're gone. And which is not fair because I always ask people, it's like, yo, met my oldest friend, I put them on a higher pedestal than my newest friend mm -hmm. because they know how I am or they spend more time with me. The newest person is getting to know me, so I cannot be like, oh, no, they're getting to know me. Mm -hmm. But you, you've been my friend. You know these stuff about me. So it's like, I'm not expecting you, but you should be able to know that, oh, I don't like that. All right, so a new person coming in and I'm saying, yo, Nikki, does, you don't. Don't poke her because she would literally go out for me. Mm -hmm. That's me getting to know you and me giving the new person a warning. Now, if that person did that, you're allowed to go off on it, but you can't go off on the way you go off on me because I know better. Mm -hmm. Well, I've known you better, mm -hmm. right? But what people are doing now is they start talking to the person for like two or three days, and they're like, oh, not the same vibe, and they're like, you're not serious again, like, man. Mm -hmm. I said, I'm trying to get to know you. Can you crawl before they can walk? Mm -hmm. How about them when they jump into the altar? It doesn't mm -hmm. work like that. Right? Yeah. And it's like, let me get to you. That's just one thing is that every relationship, that honeymoon phase has to be over. Right? Then it comes down to just, just me and you. Not your family, not nothing, not even the beach, not vacation, just me and you in the trenches. Mm -hmm. That's how we know that, hey, we're here for each other. But the thing is, there's so many, people say there's so many options, but it's really not because if there was, why are you still? Right? All those options that people are talking about, they have. Why haven't you pick one? Because, yo, they ain't a good option for you. So or some, so, sometimes there is. But so why because haven't of you the list, one? Because of the list, you can't see it. Yeah. So, again, they need to get off the highway. Because, like, to me, it's like, yo, if me, I know I like multiple women, right? But I'm not going to be like every single girl, yo, nah. The only ones I could talk to the ones that are going to be able to grow with me, be able to learn with me in my lifestyle. If you can, there's nothing wrong against you. And I'm not mm -hmm. going to change that. I'm going to let you know. Miss, I have a girlfriend. <laughs> I literally have a girlfriend. <laughs> I like you. Right? Are you telling people lies, man? It's not bad, but it's just no. <laughs> because like, to me, if I'm to say what my gecko, my woman is, yeah. you cannot be mad at me trying to tell me, oh, I didn't tell you this four months or three months or thing. Mm -hmm. right? Because again, guys, you're weak and put up an act for a whole year mm -hmm. just to get a cookie, piece of that cookie. And after that cookie, because we hit that cookie, now we don't care. What kind of cookie are you talking about? The cookie. Chocolate chip? Well, I mean, I like my chocolate chip, but for everybody, the vanilla, whatever cookie, oatmeal, raisin bran, whatever, whatever, whatever cookie is your flavor. But I'm talking about sex, right? <laughs> Guys who put up, no, nah, that's what I'm talking about. Guys who no, put I'm, up I'm all the whole shit with your age. And they want to do all that. And then once they get it, once the girl say, okay, you know what? This guy seems to be a guy who actually wants to raise me. Because girls, all they want is messed up a father figure. Not to say a father father, but somebody to that raise them also because they they don't need it, but they want that comfort. Security is what they like. 